So I got a text saying that you're not going to be able to do the show. Something happened, I guess, in the last 24 hours. What's going on? Well, I had to talk to the EP. You know, I, I didn't know what to do. I felt like I had hit rock bottom. I've just been place to place. Mm -hmm. I knew you had a living situation, but I don't really know the whole story about what's going on. So my producers came to me and told me Ling Ling was saying that she may have to quit the show. I decided that we should capture what was going to happen because in this moment, I don't know what she's going to do. Ever since I, you know, got evicted, I've kind of just been place to place. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it, it went from staying at a place um, somebody rented to me, come to find out it actually went to eviction, so I lost all my money, I lost the property that I had rebought. I knew about that, but I thought you were staying in a room. Yeah, so down the line, I went into a room, and they ended up stealing money from me. And, you know, I just didn't feel safe. They wanted to charge me $750 to rent a room from. Mind you, I'm sharing a bathroom with six other people. You know, people are going in and out of my room when I'm not there, you know, and what just threw me all the way over the top was the fact that they stole money from me. They're like, either you're going to pay us some more money oh, or y'all get the f out. Right. And that's where I'm like, okay, well, I'm not paying y'all no more money. And I really don't want no street problems either. Every day I'm nervous to walk up them stairs and see, like, is there a notice? Is it legit locks changed? It's not just a rental property. I'm also worried about the people that are hounding me from this month's, you know, rent money. I've just been kind of like applying for everywhere between second chance uh, apartments, you know, that are willing to accept my eviction. Right now, everybody's denying me. Like when I say everybody, I mean everybody's denying me, and I'm 